Most livestock breeds today were designed for perfect conditions, cheap feed, mild weather, and plenty of resources. But farming is changing fast. Feed costs are rising. Weather is becoming unpredictable, and farmers are being pushed to do more with less. So here's the big question. Which historic livestock breeds are actually built to survive the future of farming? These animals weren't created in labs or feedlots. They were shaped by tough environments, limited inputs, and real survival pressure. To understand why these breeds matter so much today, we first need to look at how the future of farming is changing. For generations, farming relied on stability, predictable seasons, affordable grain, and steady markets. But that stability is fading. Today, farmers are dealing with hotter summers, longer droughts, sudden floods, and rising disease pressure. At the same time, feed, fuel, and labor costs keep climbing. Markets are also changing. More consumers want grass-fed meat, low input systems, and sustainable farming practices. All of this means one thing. The most valuable livestock in the future won't be the animals that grow the fastest. They'll be the animals that stay healthy, reproduce easily, and survive under pressure. In the future, failure will cost more than slow growth. So what exactly makes a livestock breed ready for that kind of future? Let's break it down. When farmers think about good livestock, they often focus on size, fast growth, or high production. But in the future, survival traits will matter more than ever. A future-proof breed is not the one that needs the most care. It's the one that keeps going when conditions get tough. First, climate tolerance is critical. Animals must handle heat, cold, humidity, and sudden weather changes without shutting down. Second, disease and parasite resistance will save both money and labor. Fewer treatments mean lower costs and healthier herds. Third, strong mothering instincts matter. Animals that give birth easily and care for their young reduce losses and stress on the farmer. Fourth, pasture efficiency is key. Future ready breeds can turn grass, weeds and rough forage into meat or milk without heavy grain feeding. Finally, longevity and durability matter more than quick gains. An animal that produces consistently for many years is often more profitable than one that burns out early. Future-proof livestock are built to endure, not just perform. Now let's look at cattle. Because when it comes to long-term resilience, some historic cattle breeds may be better prepared than modern ones. Modern beef cattle are often bred for fast growth and high feed efficiency, but that usually depends on grain, supplements, and controlled conditions. Heritage cattle are different. They were shaped by tough land, limited feed, and real survival pressure. Let's look at a few historic cattle breeds that may be especially valuable in the future. Dexter cattle. Dexter cattle are small, but don't let their size fool you. Because they are smaller, Dexters eat less feed and require less space. They convert grass into beef very efficiently and do well on simple pasture systems. Dexters are also dual purpose, meaning they can produce both milk and meat. That flexibility is a big advantage for small farms and homesteads. They are known for easy calving, long productive lives, and strong adaptability to different climates. Dexters don't need much, but they waste almost nothing. Pineywoods cattle. Pineywoods cattle come from the southeastern United States, where heat, humidity, and parasites are constant challenges. These cattle developed natural resistance to disease and external parasites. They can survive and reproduce on poor quality forage 
where many modern breeds struggle. Piney Woods cattle are extremely low maintenance and require minimal inputs. They may not grow as fast as commercial breeds, but they rarely break down. These cattle survived because they had to. There was no backup plan. Texas Longhorn Texas Longhorns are one of the toughest cattle breeds in the world. They are famous for heat tolerance, calving ease, and strong immune systems. Longhorn cows often give birth without assistance and remain productive for many years. They can travel long distances for forage and thrive in harsh, dry environments. In a future with more climate stress, that mobility and toughness matters. Longhorns were built for survival, not comfort. Cattle show us the power of endurance. But when it comes to efficiency and low labor, sheep may play an even bigger role in future farming. Heritage sheep breeds, in particular, were built to survive without heavy inputs, frequent treatments, or constant human help. Let's look at a few sheep breeds that stand out. Katahdin sheep. Katahdin sheep are a modern heritage success story. Unlike traditional wool sheep, Katahdins are hair sheep, meaning they naturally shed their coat. This removes the need for shearing and lowers labor costs. They are well known for strong parasite resistance, good heat tolerance, and excellent mothering ability. Katahdins also grow well on pasture without heavy grain feeding. Katahdins save money by saving labor. Soe sheep. Soe sheep are one of the most primitive sheep breeds still alive today. They come from harsh island environments where survival depended on foraging ability and toughness. Soe's are small, self-shedding, and extremely hardy. They resist disease, thrive on rough forage, and rarely need human intervention. While they are not high production animals, they are incredibly low risk. So a sheep don't need management, they need space. Navajo Churro Sheep Navajo Churro sheep have survived centuries of drought, poor pasture, and harsh climates. They are adaptable, strong foragers, and known for easy lambing. These sheep are multi-purpose, providing meat, milk, and fiber. Their genetic diversity and resilience make them valuable not only for production, but also for preserving traits future breeds may need. These sheep are living genetic insurance. If sheep show efficiency under pressure, goats take adaptability to another level and they may be the most future-ready livestock of all. Goats have survived in some of the harshest environments on Earth. That alone makes them important when we talk about the future of farming. Heritage goat breeds were not developed for looks or show rings. They were shaped by survival, efficiency, and adaptability. Let's look at two goat breeds that stand out. Spanish goats. Spanish goats are one of the toughest livestock breeds in North America. They are extremely heat tolerant and have strong natural resistance to parasites and disease. Spanish goats thrive on brush, weeds, and rough terrain that other animals avoid. They require very little grain and perform well in low input systems. This makes them ideal for land management and meat production at the same time. Spanish goats turn problem plants into profit. Kiko goats. Kiko goats were developed with one goal in mind, survival. They are known for strong mothering instincts, high kid survival rates, and rapid recovery after kidding. Kikos can thrive with minimal human intervention. They grow efficiently on pasture and require fewer medical treatments than many commercial breeds. In a future with higher input costs, efficiency matters. Kiko goats don't need babysitting. They need space and grass. So if these breeds are tougher and cheaper to maintain, why aren't they used everywhere? The answer comes down to how farmers think about profit. 
For many years, livestock success was measured by one thing, maximum production, faster growth, bigger animals, and higher output were the main goals. But high performance often comes with high costs. Modern production breeds usually depend on grain, supplements, medical treatments, and careful management. When any of those inputs become expensive or unavailable, profits shrink quickly. Heritage breeds work differently. They may grow a little slower, but they stay healthy longer. They reproduce more consistently and handle stress better. In uncertain conditions, lower risk often beats higher output. A breed that produces slightly less but survives every year can be more profitable than one that produces more but fails under pressure. In the future, steady animals will outperform flashy ones. So how can farmers take advantage of these traits today without completely changing their operation? Preparing for the future of farming does not mean throwing away everything that works today. It means making smarter choices that reduce risk over time. One option is strategic crossbreeding. By crossing modern production animals with heritage breeds, farmers can improve hardiness, fertility and disease resistance without losing all performance. Another step is focusing on pasture-based systems, breeds that thrive on grass lower feed bills and depend less on grain markets. Farmers should also pay closer attention to input costs, not just output numbers. An animal that looks impressive but costs too much to maintain may not be profitable in the long run. Finally, selecting breeding stock based on health, fertility and longevity builds stronger herds year after year. The best investment is livestock that needs less fixing. Historic livestock breeds are often called old-fashioned, but that misses the point. These animals are not outdated. They are battle-tested. They survive droughts, disease, poor pasture, and hard conditions long before modern farming tools existed. And those same traits may be exactly what farmers need in the future. As agriculture continues to change, the breeds that endure pressure, not just those that grow fast, will shape tomorrow's farms. The animals that survived the past may be the ones that secure the future. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Livestock Insights for practical livestock knowledge that works in the real world, not just on paper.